Hello guys, welcome to another episode of the, of the project Alfa Romeo 75. Today we are assembling the brake calipers. Guys, in my view, this, these calipers are very easy to do. Much easier than the, the ones that have only one caliper, uh, sorry, one uh, piston. Because uh, they, they, uh, they allow us to separate them, separate these two parts, and work on, uh, with much more space. So, what, what I'd like to do is to clean very well this, these uh, holes. But don't clean them too well, because if you scrape this too much, you will take out the plating and the, the, the part will uh, rot or... Uh, sorry. It might tend to rust much easier. So, clean out only the dirt with, uh, with everything you have that can reach uh, all of this... Uh, corners here around the, around this okay it's very clean one thing i i discover with this particular pump uh, caliper sorry in portuguese is pump um uh the 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 grease i was using the vaseline the neutral vaseline is too thick for this assembly uh, i am i am using the wd-40 is equally as good but the the piston flows much easier I like, I like that better. So the first thing you have to do, uh, you put a good amount of, of uh, oil. If you don't have WD-40, you can use DOT-4. It's, it's equally good or better. Probably I'm doing this wrong. Now, this uh, uh, sealant here is very important, not only to seal the oil to escape, but also it, it is square for a reason. The squareness of this ring is here, so when you are braking, the, the piston comes out a little bit, and this ring actually bends. It will bend outwards. In this way, when you take off the foot of the, the brake pedal, the, the ring wants to come to, to return to its normal position. With, with, that, with that in mind, the piston will return as well, so you don't have too much pressure on your disc. So it's very important for this uh, ring to be a good quality ring and the place where it, it, it works to be very clean. Okay, so let's soak here the, the rubber, the sealant. Okay, it's nice. Put them in the square. Be careful not, be careful not to not to be crooked. Sometimes it may appear difficult, but it is not. So I'm passing my finger to feel it. It's all good. Next step, and be sure your parts are always very clean. Next step is to lubricate here the, the piston. Doesn't have to be that much, but okay. Uh, I have a doubt here. I couldn't find, the, find any information about this. This piston here has this uh, raised part here, um, and I don't know what is the direction of this piston. Uh, I am assuming it is outwards towards the, the tip of the disc, because is the, it is the, the part that makes the most uh, force on the, the path, the brake path, and it's the part of the disc that can hit the less. So if I put this C in, inwards, it will heat up because it, it uh, does much more force on the path. It helped the, the inside of the disc. And uh, um, I don't know if it, it's, just, it's just a theory of mine. Uh, if, you can, if you know what is the position of this, please tell me. I can rotate this at any time. So for, for now, I will put this uh, C outwards. Um, now, next thing is to put the, the piston in the hole. I press it a little, a little bit, it's very, very nice. And now, this part here, it depends a lot of the type of uh, brake caliper th that you have. Sometimes you have to put this before you put the, the piston, uh, and other times it's not. In this case, it's very simple. It's just this uh, inner part um, 
fits here on the crown of the piston. It's a uh, elastic fitting. Okay. Now I push in the rest of the piston. It's very tight. Okay, it's almost there. Okay. Now the rubber is already on its housing. Let me see if I can. Okay, now it's touched out. And this rubber here will be fixed by this wire here. I don't remember the name in English. And I will put them put it like this. Try not to not to use any metal tools not to risk the piercing of the, the rubber so I will try to do this actually I don't have a, a much choice but use a screwdriver this is a very dull screwdriver on the tip and uh, it's weak so it will not pierce easily just to okay it's in it's done it's this simple it's, very, it's really that simple one little thing that you have to have in mind in the next phase is to join the two parts, okay? Very simple as well, and bolt it up. But you have to be sure that you have good um, sealants between the two parts. So the oil comes in by this hole here, by the hose, and then it will push out this piston, but also it will come out of these two holes and enter these two holes as well and push out as well this uh, this piston so you you do have to have some good quality sealants here they have to be beware Th these sealants here are the the originals and they are very the, the kit that, that i have does not uh, have this the sealants but they are really very very good because if the, if i pass my finger the the sealant is very raised raised up on the metal which means when I uh, tighten these two parts it will crush very good okay clean out very well the, the place where it sits it's very well cleaned clean out clean out as well these two surfaces and when you are tightening it be sure that it doesn't move so the bolts they are different lengths these two ones see, these two ones are, are the outside ones are, sm are smaller the in ones are bigger okay that's it then you put your caliper on your hub put the hose bleed the system and it's done that simple Guys, just one last thing. Uh, if you take out your two calipers on the front or the, or the rear, don't uh, don't do the mistake of switching me switching them out, uh, because you will never be able to bleed the brakes. How can you distinguish this? Um, these two uh, brake calipers are almost the same left to right because the holes actually bolts on the middle of the the brake caliper. Uh, but if you put this caliper on the left side, the the bleed here stays on the the bottom part. It cannot be like this because you, you cannot ever take out the air on the top of the caliper. If you don't know, if you cannot dis distinguish what side is which, see here, the 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 bleeder has to be always on the top side. And now you know this caliper is on the right side. Imagine you can if you um, disassemble both of the calipers and you don't remember or you don't, don't know which is which this uh, brake um, bleeder has to be always on any pump or sorry on any caliper on the top side the most top side possible uh, so guys the end of one more video this episode I talk about uh, I hope I, I talk about enough about this brake caliper and the details of assembling a brake caliper. 
I know for some of you this information is totally uh, worthless because you are already know about this. But remember something: there are uh, there are a lot of people, non-professional and uh, people who are just enthusiasts that want this information, that need this information, mainly to understand how the things work, and with that information, then then they can choose much better and uh, learn how to see much better how to choose your professional how your how to choose your mechanic because if you know uh, how things work how things should work at principle you know that that professional is not good enough for your car um, i do this i don't know if you can understand my my reasons but i will tell you i do this for the brand i do this for alfa romeo um, if you listen to this outside portugal um, i don't do this to uh, to gain work i don't do jobs at home i don't have any friend who i send uh, my work um, i just do this for alfa romeo i want the brand to su succeed and to do that the cars must be understood and for that the owners of the car must understand they own their, their own cars because unfortunately there are a lot of people that don't like to work on cars they just work on cars to gain to uh, to uh, gain money uh, and like, like so uh, the professionalism and the, the love for the brand is lost uh, is lost on the professional and it may be lost on the owner of the car so i only do this to so you can appreciate better how alfa romeo does things and so you can understand better how the principles of the, of work how how do they work how do they do this okay bye